Hello everyone. Now let's demonstrate a detailed process of this filigree enamel bookmark. First, we take out the brass wire. Straighten it out with our wooden blocks. First, we apply B7000 glue along the lines. Only apply part of the graph at once. Wait for 3 to 5 minutes. Test it with your fingertip. Start when it feels sticky. And then I had this brass wire. Stretch it over and fix it to this path along the line graph. Then cut it with a scissor vertically. Make sure the incision is vertical so the interface can be aligned. After completing, check all the lines to see if there are any that are loose or not firmly secured. For the loose part, reapply glue and make sure it's firmly attached. We cut off the excess of this part, cut off the part beyond the edge, just cut it off a little bit. At last, we need to contour the bookmark using brass wire, or the paint will leak on so the what end. So we do is we for put a layer that of glue have along a this edge color. first. You Choose can skip a longer this brass step wire as long as the shape is for contour the bookmark. Same approach. Straighten it out first before filigree, filigree along the edge and make a closed loop. Make sure the brass wire is along the edge. We also need to make a loop at the hole here, using brass wire. You can use any round object in hand. I use a pen, here. Wrap it around. We cut it like this. Now you get a circle. Just glue the incision. Now you've finished the filigree process. And then we move to the coloring step. We got this colored mineral pigment. For colored pigment, pour it into the sand mixing pour cup. Pour a little, not much. Then add some water to wash the sand first. Don't worry if you add too much. The sand has been moisturized. Now we're going to throw away the sand floating on it. Pour out the water completely, Previous point then add this. the diluted sand fixing glue, ensuring the liquid submerges the pigment by 2-3 mm approximately 0.1 inches, and thoroughly mix the moist pigment with the glue. Fill this spray bottle with tap water. Then spray like this. Spray the whole thing wet. You can then start coloring using a palette knife or a dropper to suck out and release the water. Disassemble. Disassemble part. Disassemble part. Disassemble. Go ahead Dark and apply blue. another different color. Wash your tools between switching color. Swipe at color junction to create a smooth transition. When we change each color, better to wash palette knife. Rinse it a little, otherwise, each color will be mixed. Then swipe it like this. Can't be too hard. 
to create a smooth transition. The pigment should not be too thick. It's too thin. Don't go over it will the go of over brass the brass wire. wire and the color will leak. In theory, up to two thirds the height of brass wire. All in all, apply a small amount of color each time and repeat multiple times. Then we have finished the mountain part of our painting, but we're having a little bit of color leakage here. What to do now? Just use a dropper to suck out the color. You can modify the work easily before using setting spray. After step for setting, the painting is finalized. Let's fill out the background color. When you basically finish the whole graph, it won't be even. And we need to make sure the surface is flat. It's crucial for the final presentation. Let's spray it with this water. Then shake it like this. The pigment will level itself. Tap it, but not too hard. Let it dry for one to two hours, when then we can move on to step four, setting. After the graph is half dried but still moist, Use setting spray to stick the pigment even firmer. Spray at a distance until a white mist forms. Wipe the excess glue with a tissue. Place the work horizontally and wait to dry for at least two days. After this step, the graph is finalized, can no longer be changed. Setting spray is completely dried out after two days and we are done.